If you're new to snorkeling, then you probably don't know the different aspects to the types of equipment. So we produced this quick snorkeling guide to make it easier for you to choose your first snorkeling equipment. Mask. Your dive mask is how you see under the water, as our eyes haven't evolved to focus underwater. So you need that airspace in front of your eyes so you can see. You need to look for tempered glass lenses and soft silicone skirts. An adjustable mask strap makes your life a lot easier and much more comfortable, as this will hold your mask onto your face better. Large frame masks. Large frame masks offer a very wide opening and wide field of vision. They are larger on your face and they have that large section of glass so you can see for miles. But they can be a lot larger so a little bit harder to pack. Tinted lenses. Tinted lenses or mirrored lenses like this mask here prevent certain wavelengths of light from getting into the mask. So mirrored lenses like this are great for when you spend a lot of time on the surface in bright sunlight as they act a bit like sunglasses by cutting out UV rays. Mask preparation. Mask preparation treatments you put on the inside of your mask as soon as you get it home because on the inside there'll often be a small residue that you can't see that will cause your mask to fog up very quickly. The preparation treatment removes this internal film so it doesn't fog up quite so quick. Defog. Defog gels and sprays are sprayed on the inside of your mask just before the dive. Give it a quick rinse and that will prevent your mask from fogging up during the dive. Water droplets will form on the inside of the mask lens and the defog gel prevents this. Strap wrappers. A neoprene strap wrapper will cover the back of your silicone mask strap. The silicone of the mask strap can often stick to your hair, which holds it in position, but it can pull on your hair. So the neoprene strap covers that up, which still holds it on the back of your head, but means that it's not going to pull on your hair. Snorkel. The snorkel is how you breathe on the surface whilst looking down into the water. So this means that you don't have to hold your breath whilst looking down into the water, you can look down and breathe all you want. A lot of them have a water trap at the bottom of the snorkel that keeps your airway free. They typically sit on your left hand side so the mouthpiece will be angled in that certain direction. You often have an adjustable section at the bottom to make it more comfortable, a clip to attach it onto your strap, and some kind of wave deflector at the top to prevent water from getting into the snorkel. Basic snorkel. Basic snorkels are a simple tube. They have an opening at the top, a long circular tube that goes down in front of your mouth to a mouthpiece. They'll have a snorkeling clip at the center to attach it onto your mask strap and look out for a flexible tube so that you don't have to worry about bending and breaking the snorkel. Purge snorkel. Purge snorkels have a trap at the bottom just underneath the mouthpiece with a one-way valve. This way, if any water does get into the snorkel, if you exhale through the mouthpiece, the water will be pushed out of the bottom. At the top they have a rudimentary splash guard that prevents any water from splashing into the top of the snorkel so it's going to keep a lot of that water out. Dry top snorkel. Dry top snorkels have a float at the top which when submerged if you swim under the water the float will raise blocking the top of the snorkel. This means that water won't enter the tube of the snorkel and when you get back to the surface the float will descend opening that airway back again. Fins. Your snorkeling fins are going to help you get through the water. They're a lot shorter and more compact than scuba diving fins, but you don't need quite as much effort to move through the water on the surface. Look for different features on the blades, such as channeling and ridges, as these will make the fins more efficient at moving you through the water. Full foot fin. Full foot fins have a simple rubber foot pocket that you put your bare foot into so you have to make sure that you get the right size. The blade attaches onto the foot pocket and then as you move through the water this long elongated blade is going to propel you through the water. Open heel fin. Open heel fins have an adjustable heel strap so if you have a slightly larger or smaller foot you can adjust the length of the strap so that the fin stays on your foot comfortably. The one way ratchet is quick and easy to adjust to make it longer or shorter. Snorkeling vest. 
Snorkeling vests are basic buoyancy aids. They go over the top of your head and they have straps that go down your back and around your waist. You can orally inflate it by blowing it up like a balloon and that will hold you on the surface so you don't have to swim at the surface to stay up. Because of the shape and the design of the vest, if you just lay on your back, the vest will naturally hold you in a face up position in the water. Underwater camera. Now you'll want to record your underwater exploration, so an underwater camera is a must. These dive cameras are factory sealed and can go far deeper than the disposable cameras. So you never have to worry about them and because they're digital it means that you can adjust your pictures and you can delete any naff ones and take extra pictures whilst you're out on the go. Rash vests. A rash vest is a simple t-shirt that you wear in the water. They have UV protection, so they're gonna protect you from the sun. The flexible material gives you plenty of freedom of movement. And even though the material is quite thin, it will protect you from a lot of marine bites and stings. Shorty. Shorty wetsuits are great for snorkeling as they do provide a little bit of buoyancy all by themselves because of the neoprene material, but they're nice and thin, they don't have sleeves so you have plenty of freedom of movement. They're also going to keep your core a little bit warmer when the water temperature starts to drop. Bags. Snorkeling bags are typically long and slender like our Simply Scuba snorkeling bag or you can get larger versions like this which typically have mesh panels all over so after your dive all of your wet gear can drip dry and air dry properly so that way water won't collect inside dry bags. A dry bag is a very useful piece of equipment. Keep all of your essentials safe and dry inside by rolling down the top, which provides a watertight seal. This prevents any water or moisture from getting inside of the bag to keep your essentials dry and safe. So that was a quick look at the different types of equipment that you will need to go snorkeling. All of these are available at our website simplyscuba.com or you can visit our store in Faversham. Let us know in the comments below what type of snorkeling gear that you use. Thanks for watching and safe diving.